long tunnel atrial septal aneurysm complex PFO. Uh, we have a, a hopefully this will come up. Uh, this is an anatomical uh, study, uh, obviously uh, post-mortem. Uh, we'll see what it looks like uh, because we're used to seeing the images, yes. but we don't often see what the anatomy looks like. So this is somebody who has a thick secundum, and you can see during the probe that there's not one, but there's actually several holes here, mm -hmm. which brings up the interesting anatomical consideration I alluded to earlier, that it's a long tunnel, it's a floppy atrial septal aneurysm, but also uh, that there is a multiple communications. So this one probably after uh, the patient was born, partially sealed, had some fibrous tissue, and now you're looking at the left atrial side. This is what happens, uh, you may see this occasionally. Yeah. Tell me if you had cases like this before where your wire doesn't go through. I got a positive bubble study, but my wire doesn't go through. Right. Or the wire is in a spot that doesn't look like it should be where the PFO is. Yeah, it could be separate. Right. Exactly. So, and then, and then you realize that maybe um, there are two exits. Yeah. And those were the two exits you could see coming on right there. Amazing. How do you handle this one? What do you want to do? I, I mean, potential one option would be to balloon the PFO. Would be an option to throw. You make the you break some of this fiber. Yeah. The, Intentionally do what you didn't want to do before. Exactly. So okay. the balloon that would break some of those fibrotic um, bridges and then becomes a more... And then size it that size way. Size it that way. Okay. Could Matt, what do you option. think? Yeah, well, you know, it's hard because you don't have x-ray vision. Yeah. Because we don't know at the time that there are two exits. Right. Um, so um, I have to make sure when I cross the PFO to make sure it looks anatomically reasonable on the ice images. Right. My, um, and so you often get a feel... Um, that your things are not quite right when you're, if you have a big PFO and you're trying to get your sheath across and it's hard to cross. Right. So, yeah, so if you, I had trouble with the wire, I've got all these bubbles. Why are the bubbles having such an easy time of it? And I'm struggling down here. Right. If it's it takes you spot. more than 60 seconds to cross a PFO, there's something wrong, yep. right? You start right. thinking that the anatomy the patient or the is much more complex. Yeah, right. Well, it could be, <laughs> it could always be me. Right. But uh, it's in early development, John, but I believe that, I, I think the 3D volumetric ice is mm -hmm. going to be yeah. very helpful for yeah. This particular situation, so you we might be able to see, you know, the wire exiting on one side of the tunnel versus the through middle. You now, so you bring up a great point. I mean, uh, we've seen some of the prototypes here for 3D ice, some of the uh, packages yes. that are coming out. Uh, it not only translates into this kind of work, but almost everything else we do in the heart. Yeah. Right. And how nice not to have you use general anesthesia right. and TE for that right. kind of things. Correct. But that's that's another lecture.